James 13 needed off that last over. You must have thought you had that. Oh, you never know until it's over. Um, uh, Dorse is over prior to that, obviously, you know, got us, you know, 13 off the last, certainly in the game with, you know, sort of Nelly's quality bowling, bowling the last over. Um, I think the, the overall game, first half, we felt, you know, halfway with that we're in a good position and then you know, started well with the ball prior to the rain break and then, yeah, I think conditions changed a little bit um, when the rain got on the wickets seemed to skid on a bit more and, you know, only nine overs with nine wickets in hand. They're going to come out chancing around. We got some wickets early, which is what we needed to do and then, um, yeah, there's probably a few balls we'd like back that we didn't execute as well as we could do. Um, but, you know, they got good players all the way down um, and they, you know, they're only two two good hits away from getting well ahead in the game so um, obviously a disappointing way way to finish a campaign and um, with the rain around you never know what would happen if it's a full game as I say felt like we're in a good position but um, that sort of stuff's out of our control so obviously hugely disappointed um, not to make it through to the final but I think you know throughout the competition again particularly towards the back end we played some fantastic cricket and yeah, the guys have been magnificent and yeah, we know final state can go any way and yeah, unfortunately today wasn't our day. Your innings started really well, you and Ben McDermott, and at the end it finished well, but in the middle it was a bit of a mixture, wasn't it? Yeah, we obviously runs came not easily, but early we got off to a bit of a flyer and you know, felt like yeah, we, 200 would be about right on that wicket, but then I think as they worked out what the wicket was doing and there was a bit of hold, as they took pace off it became a bit more difficult, so... We lost a few, probably, you know, trying to look for a big score and then, yeah, the rebuilding, weathers was excellent and the guys finished it off really well. As I say, at halfway, 170, in the way the wicket had played, we felt pretty comfortable that, you know, our bowlers would be able to defend that. At the end of the day, though, it's, a fi it's another finals day appearance. I guess you have to look at it that way. Yeah, it's hard to look at it like that right now, but, um, yeah, upon reflection, probably a couple of beers this afternoon and, yeah, it's... Yeah, you know, not nice. First game of the day in particular, watching the day unfold without being involved in it. But um, as I said before, the guys have been magnificent all competition. And yeah, sometimes you get beaten on the day and, and that's happened to us today, unfortunately. I know it's raining, but just a quick word on Joe Weatherly because his innings really held it together. Yeah, he was fantastic. Um, yeah, he, I think he, he picked the right time to, to find the boundary and soaked up pressure when needed. It's always difficult in that situation um, you know, when wickets are being lost around you. You know, to, to work out when to take your risks and when to keep the scoreboard ticking over. So he played it really, really well. Um, and he was a big reason in us getting to 170, which, as I say, I thought was a good score.